Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Hello, I am your host as always, Thomas and Hunter's AKV Expert, uh, and we are going to be playing today Back to the Future, the video game. Now, the video game covers five episodes. This is the first. So without further ado, I've sorted out all the sound settings, so if the sound is a little bit off, let me know and I'll sort it out for next time. So ladies and gentlemen, let's head back to the future! Oh, but first things first. Uh, oh, go on then, why not? What's the worst that could possibly happen? I mean, seriously, it's not like we're going to go back to the past or anything. <gasps> Total Games! Love them. Alright, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 1 18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, I need. Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, Jack Doc. Pretty big Go. clock. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. Ow, bitch! You smacked me on the head! Nah, no, nah, no, that's bad. That you got terrible. that thing hooked up to the car? Watch this! Yeah, okay. Got it. Gotta love that DeLorean. Not me! The car! The car! Okay, Doc. I hope you're not doing anything crazy. If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. <laughs> oh yeah, classic line. Dog. Dog, what are you doing? You're not... No. No. Watch this. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> Holy guacamole. You disintegrated Einstein! Uh, what did I tell you? 88 miles per hour! The temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds! Hot Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ, Doc! You disintegrated Einstein! Calm down, Marty! I didn't disintegrate anything! The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact! You sure, Doc? Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. Whoa. One minute into the future, to be exact. And Wait. At precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. Doc, what are you talking about? <sighs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. What are you talking about? A time machine? The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. Look out! Give a fuck out! Um. Okay. And nothing happens. Uh. Doc? Huh, that's peculiar. Uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us. 27 seconds ago! Huh. Doc, uh, wh what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuits. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. Okay, Doc. Okay, uh... Oh, that's how we move. Okay. So, yes! Back to the future of a video game. Five episodes of pure awesomeness where you get to play as Marty McFly. Oh yeah. Classic Back to the Future action right there. We I'm walking. I'm walking on sunshine! Okay, I just need to get used to the controls a little bit. Okay. Toolbox. Notebook. Notebook. There it is. Got it! Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention! The thing that makes time travel possible! In this notebook, I've detailed the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. 
If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. You mean cats that's fall C. out of the sky? Yes. Mass equals I times Z, and E that equals the square familiar. root of Z. Consequences could be catastrophic? Whoa. Deja vu. Wait a minute. Hello, what? Uh, Doc? Oh no. What the? Great Scott! Haha, <laughs> classic. Doc, what is it? I've made a horrible mistake! Oh shit. Doc, no! Doc! No! I'm sorry, Marty. Come back! Doc! Not Doc! Doc! Oh. And it was just a dream. Marty? Is everything okay? Yeah, Mom. I... It was, it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past. And Doc was there. Oh. Oh, well, you're safe photo. and sound Going now. Back, to a back in good old 1986. 1986? But no. you better get up. <laughs> no, Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap. I'm late. One buddy, run! <laughs> Epic theme tune ever. Oh yes, you know we start off seriously when you have badass music. And what better than the Back to the Future theme tune itself. And welcome to episode 1. It's about time. And no, I'm not talking about the StarCraft 2 friggin' teaser trailer that they showed years ago. Yes, Telltale Games did a fantastic job on this. And if you don't know what Telltale Games are all about, they're all about these interactive narrative style of games. As soon as I heard they were doing Back to the Future, I was on it. What can I say? It is absolutely brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to play through this with you guys watching at home. And I hope I also get you guys into it yourself, because it's truly amazing how they've done it. Ah. Uh, nostalgia. I'm, the trilogy is like... What three of my most favourite movies of all time. Not even kidding. I love the Back to the Future movies with a passion. May 14th, 1986. Dad! Are we too late to stop the... Sale? Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's Doc stuff. The city has no right now, to... Now, son, I know you're upset. But your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage, and... Hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? <laughs> it's just not fair. But at least things can't get any worse. Just wait. Hey, Marty! Hi, Biff. Oh, Biff. Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? Nah, I guess I'm just... Oh. Remembering. Oh, look at the face. Search Doc's lab for dangerous materials. Well, what could possibly be dangerous in Doc's lab? I mean, the only thing dangerous that we remember from the movies was the time machine. And we all know, at the end of Back to the Future 3, he met up with Clara, he had kids, he made that awesome time machine out of a train. I mean... There isn't anything else that dangerous, is there? I mean, the dog feeder isn't nearly that dangerous anymore. Hey, let me... Now, Biff, leave Marty alone. This is a very emotional time for him. Oh, sure. Sorry, Marty. Hey, screw you, Biff! Butthead. Uh, we all know how that would have worked. Right, now let's have a look and see what we can find. We could talk to George McFly. Uh, get rid of that. If we can, awesome. Select items around the lab to make sure Doc didn't leave anything dangerous lying around. 
Ah, oh, the amplifier from Back to the Future 1. The scene that started it all and captured our hearts. Anyway, I've got to search for dangerous stuff. George! George, what is he looking at? Oh, he's just looking at, like, what, shopping lists and portfolios? Something like that? That's what it looks like. Ah, oh, the town square model. Ah, oh, fantastic model of a town square. Used to obviously help Marty in Back to the Future 1. The mind reading helmet the Doc wore when he when Marty first met up with Doc back when he went back to Well, back in the past to save his dad. Well Yes, it was initially to No! Yeah, yeah. Well yes. Yes and no. Yeah, I'm going crazy. But anyway, let's have a look at the town square model. Doc built this model of downtown Hill Valley way back in nineteen fifty five. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? What hey, the? that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, uh, can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Oh, come on, Biff. Can I have a courthouse? You know, you and my folks go way back. Yeah, so? So how about letting me have that model courthouse uh, for old time's sake? No, I think I'll keep it. Give it here, Biff. Come, come on, Biffy. Well, well, look at what we have here. Uh, looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me Browns to. Browns worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. Ha! Ah. What a butthead. Okay, we need to try and get that off of Biff. How are we gonna get Biff distracted? Hmm. There must be something else around here we can use to obviously. <gasps> George, you genius! Thanks, Dad. You're absolutely amazing. If that's one thing that could get Biff's attention, it's some good old-fashioned rock and roll. Hey, Dad. Wh why's my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up. I'll iron things out with the bank. Oh, cheers, Dad. Okay, now let's have a look at these amplifier controls. Let's make some noise. Crank him up. You gotta crank it up. Primary driver to five. We gotta average it out this time. We don't want to blow anyone's friggin' eardrums all over the place. Let's have a look at our inventory. Let's see if we can't use the guitar on the amplifier. This should get Biff's attention. Here's an oldie, but a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. Oh, shut up, Biff. Let, Let me, me show you how it's done. Oh, come on. Now, Biff. This ain't Guitar I Hero. I think that's Marty's guitar. Oh, <laughs> gosh. <laughs> You're right, Mr. McFly. Here you go, Marty. Let's hear a few licks. Damn right, bitch. I'll show you. Wow. Oh yeah. Man, you kids have ruined rock and roll. Oh, uh, sharp Biff. Marty's revolutionizing rock and roll. Okay, now let's see. We blew over the model. So what we were supposed to do? Blow over the model so that Biff would drop the I don't think Biff realizes that he has it anymore. It must be down here somewhere. I'm just not looking hard enough. Let's see, is, is there anything down here? Let's grab my guitar again. And now, something your kids are really gonna like. Thanks for warming them up for me, butthead. Oh, come on, Biff. Biff, I thought I told you not to take my son's guitar. Oh, right. Sure thing, Mr. McFly. I was just warming him up for you, Marty. Let's see what you got. This might take a while to realize. Whoa! Yeah! Yeah, that'll do. Man, you kids have ruined rock and roll. Shut up, Biff. Right. So I'm obviously going in the right place, starting with that. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try doing this without using hints. And now I've got to try and get George out of the picture. Hey, Dad. Um, 
I can fight. I can fight my own fights. About Biff, Dad. I, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle him. So can I. I guess you can. Okay, son. I'll stay out of your way. But you know where to find me. Thanks, Dad. I'll exit for now. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Right, now that I've talked with Dad... Now, no, 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 no. now that I've talked with George about that, I should be able to use my guitar and then let Biff have a go. You want to hear a number by Biff and the Biff Tones? Always happy to play for my adoring fans. Let's just put it up a little. And fill the bird! Watch me blow the lid off this joint! Whatever you say. I call this rock solid, mother of Hubbard! <laughs> Crap! Rock on, Biff. Damn right. Oh, shit. <laughs> Butthead. Yes, we found Doc's notebook. What the? Uh, Things Doc, to do in 1985. Where are you? Wait. What? No. No way. But. But. But it was destroyed. What the? It can't be. But. The DeLorean was destroyed. Surely. Doc? Is, is he in there? Doc? If you say you're alive. If that is you. Ooh. That doesn't sound healthy. Ugh! Ice cold. Einstein! Hey! Where did you come from, boy? Didn't you bring Doc with you? Uh, I need. Uh. Ah, uh, the old DeLorean, the flux capacitor, everything's still here. Wait a minute. There's a shoe and a tape recorder. Let's grab okay, a shoe. Okay, Doc, I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. That's, that was going to be interesting. What about this tape recorder? This is suspicious. Oh, it can't be Doc's Marty. voice. No. Ah! Marty, if you're hearing this recording, then the DeLorean's automatic retrieval feature is a resounding success. Automatic retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I program the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now. Or then. Or, uh, maybe later. He's in trouble. Marty, you come to my rescue in the past. Or was it the future? Anyway. I'm relying on you to do it again. Please, take the DeLorean back, or, or forward, to whatever it is I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Aren't you gonna tell me when that is? Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading mark, Last Time Departed. Good luck. Right, right, Last Time Departed, Last Time Departed. Uh, oh, jeez. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Crap! Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? Uh oh. So Doc's trapped wherever he is. We need to save him. But the circuit display ain't working. Uh oh. Well, let's get out of the DeLorean first. Maybe I need can help us. Hmm. Obviously, leaving Einstein in the DeLorean must have meant something. And we did pick up this weird shoe. I wonder if Einie can help us with it at all. What do you know about this shoe, Einie? Great Scott! I think he's onto something! Go, Einie, go! Follow that dog! Is this where it is, boy? 
This looks suspicious. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. How's this supposed to lead me to Doc, Einie? And the <laughs> and the skateboard mysteriously disappears. Ooh, liquor store. Anyway. Now let's see. Einie obviously thinks that this place has something to do with it. Well, it might as well be nice and buzz. Strickland. Step away from the door! <laughs> now, let me get a look at you. Who are you? Einstein, come on! Just as I suspected. Hooligans! Get along now! Scat! But... I don't even know who you are. Einstein brought me here. State your business, child! You're making me miss Merv! Well, see, that's the thing. I I'm not sure why I'm here. Uh, Einstein here brought me, and... Well? Uh, I've got... Well, this must be the woman whose shoe was in Doc's car. Not too sure why her shoe was in Doc's car, but we might as well give it back to her. Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. Right, let's sew up that shoe. A shoe? Now, now what would I want with a... Huh? <gasps> Stay there! No, don't look at me, lady. I'm only holding up a shoe in the middle of the public. Hey! And the door swings open. Leave that creature outside! Hey! That creature Sorry, is an awesome dog. Just look at Aini. He's so awesome. Don't worry, Aini. We'll be right back. You just have to lie down or whatever. Now, let's see. No, this isn't suspicious at all. Took you long enough. Um, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. You can put it down next to the other one. Oh. Well, mm, much better. So neat and orderly. Now I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. Well, no, yeah. I... All I've got is tea and candy. But I'm sorry I called you a hooligan. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Uh. Have a seat, Sonny. Okay. It's no weird at all. It's... Hey! Oh. You kid! Okay. She's obviously not a crazy lady at all. So we see we've got newspapers. She can obviously must collect them. Her name's Edna. Edna Strickland. Oh pictures. Is that Isn't that the sheriff from Back to the Future 3? I love that guy! He had a badass mustache. I love badass mustaches. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can't use those binoculars. Mind if I take a look? Go ahead, dear. Oh, thanks. Man, these are powerful. I could see Biff going into the video store. Yeah, he wouldn't believe the filth that boy watches. <laughs> yeah, he's nothing but an out-of-control hedonist. Just like his father. His dad. If there's a clue to find a doc out there, I'm not seeing it. I don't even know where to start looking. Well, obviously, Biff of a video store isn't going to help us much if we're trying to find anything for Doc. Now, let's see. She was putting on some tea earlier, and I think these newspapers might just have a date that might be handy for us. So, let me see. Can we go into the kitchen? Uh, Miss Strickland, about your tea. Uh, you forgot to turn on you! the... It's spelled with a U! You illiterate! Ha! <laughs> oh, hilarious. Ugh. The manky shoe and the clean shoe. 
I'd rather have two pairs of a clean one, personally, but there you go. Some people like it differently. Hmm, I wonder. Because she's forgotten to turn the of, to turn the oven on and not boil the tea. I wonder if we can fake it using this conveniently placed radiator. Man, she keeps it hot in here. Let's turn it down. Huh? And all of a sudden, her speaking isn't working for some goddamn reason. Weird. Glitches. Quick, quick, quick! Oh, she's in the kitchen! Check the newspapers! Juveniles collide with manure truck. <laughs> nice picture. Huh. Mustn't be in there. How about here? Brown mansion destroyed. 1962. No, no, that's not where Doc's stranded. Oh, come on. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. Now we're down to a year. I hey, uh, mind if I use your binoculars for a sec? Go ahead, dear. Let's try using them again. Hey, there's Jennifer's mom coming out of the market. Mrs. Parker? I find it curious that she always uses the same strapping red-headed bag boy. Don't you? If there's a clue to find a doc out there, I'm not seeing it. I don't even know where to start looking. Hmm. It's gotta be something to do with these newspapers. Don't touch those! Uh -oh. My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. Well, it's not that I have jam on my fingers, but... <laughs> That's not jam on my fingers! No, no, I'm kidding. Uh, now I can't activate any other thing. Well, let's check that picture. <laughs> Is that Vice Principal Strickland? Ha! <laughs> Mother never could keep little Gerald out of her clothes. Gerald? Ha! <laughs> oh, so funny. Okay, let's have a look at the shoe again. Einstein brought me that shoe from the past. But when in the past? We just don't know, but that's... We, there's got to be a clue here somewhere. So obviously we need to get Enda out of the room to have a look at the newspapers, but we can't look at the newspapers because we don't know the date. But we don't know the date because we don't know anything about where Doc is. <gasps> and let's check my inventory quickly. This notebook has all of Doc's plans for the flux capacitor and the DeLorean. I'd better make sure it never falls into the wrong hands. And by wrong hands, I mostly mean bit. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll keep it away from Biff. Is there anything on here? Ah! <laughs> That's hilarious. Now... Candy! Oh, the candy looks older than I am. Damn. Now, isn't, there isn't anything else to interact with here apart from... Let's talk to Edna, she might know something. Uh, Miss Strickland? You're doing behind that tree! Bow -chicka -bow -wow, bow -wow, bow yes? So you've been checking on teenagers having sex? You dirty old hag! Nah, 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 I'm kidding. Um, when did you lose your shoe? Do you remember when you lost your shoe? Shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe! Huh. Hi, what a nosy Nelly! No one likes a busybody, you know. Oh, thanks. But... Oh, fine, let me think about it. Uh... Yes, I, I remember. I, I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. Oh, when was it? Oh, yes. The day that speakeasy burned down. <laughs> a speakeasy? In Hill Valley? Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. Yeah. Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded. Okay, so we know that she lost the shoe on the day that the speakeasy burned down in Hill Valley. If only we knew when the speakeasy was. Or maybe. We could just find a picture of a speakeasy in the newspapers. 
Aha! Don't let me keep you from your business. You there! Don't even think about tossing that Kleenex on the ground! Too late, lady. It's on the ground. What are you gonna do about it? No, I'm kidding. Okay, let's try this again. Radiator, round two. There's the whistle! Surely the water's boiling by now. I know there's one thing boiling. And it ain't that coffee, no. It ain't that kettle, that's what I meant. Okay, newspapers. Firm announces plans for Lone Pine Mall. Peabody Ranch to be rezoned for commercial development. Alright, Einstein brought me this shoe, and Miss Strickland lost the shoe on the day the speakeasy burned down. But when did the speakeasy burn down? I at least need to know the year. Damn it. I must have to speak to Edna more in order to carry this across. Hmm. Hey, uh, mind if I use your binoculars for a sec? Go ahead, dear. Yeah, let's bring Edna back in the room. Huh. Looks like the clock tower repairs have stalled out again. Oh, the wheels of justice grind slowly, but exceedingly fine. Except in Hill Valley, where they don't move at all. Ha! <laughs> Okay. Uh, I wish yeah. I knew which one used to be a speakeasy. Hmm, that would be handy. Okay, let's speak to it. Excuse me, Miss Strickland. Hmm. Illegal speakeasy. Cool! Wow, a speakeasy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. Prohibition? was a time when gangsters ruled the town while honest citizens quaked in their beds. Well, when you say gangsters, do you mean modern day gangsters that were like... <laughs> yeah. Nah, nah, I, I don't think so. Uh, now where was that speakeasy? So where was it? That speakeasy that burned down, I mean. That was ages ago. If you're looking for bootleg hooch... Oh, damn right. No, I I'm just curious, that's all. Aww. I'm a, a student of history. Oh, yeah. Student of history? My Aunt Fanny! You just said Fanny! Yeah, your generation of hooligans and slackers could give two ripe things about history. Miss Strickland? Oh, video store! Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Right where that disgusting videotape rental store squats today. So uh -huh. the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. The following year, as I recall. Aha, uh -huh. so we now have some information. Don't let me keep you from your business. Now, let's use those binoculars and have a look at that video store. Oh, there's Biff getting some porno. Dirty Biff. <laughs> you and your porn. Ah. Rebuilt in February 1932. 1932. So the fire must have happened before then. But when? I need a date! Don't look at me! I'm far too old for you. Not that kind of date, Miss Strickland. 